Hello filmmakers, it is Kerry with Filmmaker Central and we're continuing our DaVinci Resolve 18.5 videos. And today I wanna to show you Relight. Now, I, I don't have the best footage. I, I just grabbed a couple things real quick to play around with it and show you how to make it work and hopefully give you some insight into how you can use this in your own projects. It's, it's not intuitive at all. <laughs> it's, you, you gotta know the right steps to do things and the right settings to make it work. But I'm gonna show you how to do it and then uh, let me see what you guys come up with because I think this is really, really cool. All right, so <clears throat> here we have this shot of me um, doing a video on my Trail Traveler channel. And just real quickly, I'm just gonna throw a, a Gnome Kroll Cine D LUT on here. Now, what happened, actually, I'm gonna give some room here. Let's give it some breathing room, there we go. This was shot at like six o'clock in the morning and the sun was coming up over the, the hills and I thought I was good enough to get the shot because it looked good looking at the camera. Well, what happened was the sun line was right here. I mean, anything below my neck was in shadow and my face was in the sunlight. So what, what I want to do is make this look more consistent, make it look like it was more intentional than accidental. So I'm here over on the color nodes. I'm going to do option S, just bring up a node here and you see I'm I'm over in effects and I'll just kind of start from the beginning. I'll go to effects and I'm going to search. I'm going to just go to relight and I'm going to drag this on top of that node. And over here on the right, we have some options and you can see that it's created a depth map over here. We don't need to move this. This is not relevant right now. All we're working with is this overall depth map. And so we're going to say output surface map. And now that is what it's going to pipe in to Relight. So I'm gonna come back over here to Library, I'm gonna grab it again and put another node here. And I'm gonna take the output from the first one and take it to the second output or second input on the first one. I'm gonna take the footage and drag that to the first input. And I'm gonna take the output and drag it to our output. All right, great, so far so good, right? Now. Over here on the options, well, we can see that it's popped up here with the light and we wanna use input two as our surface map. Now we can take our light and move it around. So this is a point source. You can actually see how it actually casts, casts shadows. We can have a directional light, same thing. Where do I want the light and the shadows to hit? and we can do a spotlight. So I can move the spotlight around, see how we can control kind of the beam of it. But I think we're gonna go with a directional light and we want this light to come in from the side. All right, all we have to do now is go to the relighting map preview. Well, actually let's talk about the settings here. You have brightness controls, contrast, um, reach is going to be on the point source. So how much of this do we want, you know, to have an effect? And here with the directional, I think that's going to be good. The surface properties, how glossy we want it. Specular highlights is available on other ones. Shadow softness. And then the direction, we can control this here or by moving it around on the screen. Input surface map, rescale oversaturated, and reinterpret left to right, reinterpret up and down. So a couple different options here. Now, let's turn off the preview. Now what's happened, right? Well, essentially we're creating I don't want to call it a mask, but it, it kind of is in the sense that 
we now have something that we can color grade. In and of itself, it doesn't do anything. You can set up all these lights and do everything, but it doesn't do anything. But now you can go in and color grade that those settings. So it's not like I'm just placing a light and I want to change the color of the light and it should be there. No, no, no. Let's go back to the color page. All right, so very simple here. Actually, I just want to add some sunlight onto my jacket. Boom. Simple, right? So I've added a light source coming from the side that has a warmer color temperature. Now let's, let's really bump it up there so we can see it. And I'll turn off the overlay. And now let's turn this on and off. Sure, it affected other things and we can go in and tweak this and we can actually set up power windows to control how much of this that we wanna use. It's just another tool that works with other tools. So if I wanted to only have it go over my jacket there or over me, let's just do a quick uh, power window here. Okay, so now we have the effect without changing anything else in the scene, right? <laughs> How cool is this, right? Yeah, you could do some of this to an extent before, but this is actually going to cast shadows. It's going to work with the surface map to determine what should be lit and what shouldn't. So it's a much more intelligent way of doing this. Now, of course, this uses the Resolve Neural Engine, and those features are all Studio. So if you don't have Studio, this isn't going to work. All right, so very simple example. And let's just go, I'm just going to go to another clip here. And again, really basic shot. This is, you know, the same morning type of shoot. Let me just throw... The same LUD on there just so we have some basic color correcting and I'll get rid of the LUTs and again now I can just grab relight throw it on here grab relight throw it on here I'll take this one take it to the input over here we're going to just output the surface map on this one take this one to the second input, take this one to the first input, take this to the output, boom, All right? And we're going to use the input two as our surface map. Great. So now we can see how I can add some extra light into these areas. Let's turn off the map preview. Now I'll go to some colors. Let's, uh, do a little color boost there. Maybe increase the color temperature because it was first thing in the morning. And we've added some very, very realistic lighting. Again, I could go through and put some power windows on here so it's not affecting the trees in the background. But hopefully you can see just how powerful this is and what you can do with it and understanding it isn't an effect in and of itself. It's a way of selecting what you want to apply an effect to. Hope that makes sense. So the relight feature in studio, I think this is super duper cool just because I can just fix things that I didn't think were quite right. And like I said that a good example is this shot here where I really thought, I really thought the sun was hitting my whole body. It was only hitting my face, but now I've added very, very realistic lighting to it. So hope this made some sense. Hope it helped you out to learn how to set up the relight tool so that you can do some custom lighting for yourself. Thanks for watching everybody. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.